Have you met any vampires who prefer homeless life? Well, I think all vampires kind of, they're nomads by nature. Like, I mean, in all seriousness. Because here's my system, right? My system kind of goes like this. I can sleep for a long time, right? I, I get up in between the nap, as it were, every so often, usually to pee or whatever. Um, but generally, most vampires are going to be nomadic. Because if you keep eating people in a particular area, people are going to catch on, right? So you got to go moving somewhere else. Nomad, right? Somebody like me, I could stay in the same area as long as I go to sleep for about 30 years. That's essentially a generation, you know? So last time I was awake was like mid to late 90s, right? You go to sleep, boom. Everyone who thought they knew you, they get older. They assume you either moved or died, you know? And then when you reemerge... If by some chance encounter, you run into somebody who thinks they, you look exactly like somebody I used to know in the nineties, you just change your voice a little bit and be like, you know, Oh really? That's very interesting. This is my first day in New York. I'm really, look at my shirt. I am a tourist here. Hi, my name's Bob. You know, you change your name a lot. You can stay in the same spot, you know? And everyone's been, everyone that I knew was priced out of New York a long time ago. Okay. So, uh, free reign, the reign of darkness continues. Yes. At least I'll give it a couple of years and then maybe I'll go back to bed. Wasn't a good time to wake up. I've said it before. Not going to say it again. Ugh. Pro tip. They don't check the crypts after they bury the guy in them. Well, much like the pumpkin, you can just hang out in the sewers. Nobody ever goes down there. Like, quite literally, New York is a a literal maze of underground tunnels where most, a lot of homeless people live because they're undisturbed and they have free shelter. Smell is iffy, iffy it's 50-50. You gotta go in deep into the sewers to find the ones that have been abandoned for so long, they don't smell like shit, okay? That's the key, all right? The pumpkin and the tall blue lady... They found a really good spot. I mean, it, it looks like a gothic hotel at this point. Because it's still got some of the old architecture from like the 30s. They've never touched this place. It was apparently walled off at some point. I don't want to give away too much information, but it's accessible. And I got a spot relatively close. Not too close because I don't want to hear the pumpkin streaming. Okay? So... What do you mean disgusting? Well, that's the thing. Any human doesn't want to go past the smell to see if there's something lurking in the shadows. Oh, I really want to know what's lurking in this, the sewer systems of New York. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody cares. That's the thing. We bank. The reason vampires survive is because they know humans have no, no sympathy or empathy for people that have to live underground in the sewers. So they're not going to go try to help them. Every once in a while, you get that do-gooder. You know, that, oh, we should save these poor, unfortunate people. They got to die. I mean, that's the thing. They got to die. Because you can't have people going in there trying to, you know, take the homeless. Even the homeless are like, leave me out of this. Okay? Because if you've ever been to a homeless shelter, it is utter carnage and calamity. Even the homeless don't want to go there. They would rather commit a crime and be put in jail for the night than go to a homeless shelter. Okay? That says a lot about the system, frankly. So keep that in mind if you're ever homeless. It would be more beneficial to commit a crime or be publicly drunk and be thrown in jail for the night. You're welcome. Pro tip. 